Hi Cancer, welcome to Tarot Love Reading. My name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. So let's jump in, let's see what's going on with your connection. So you have uh, the Nine of Swords, the Magician, Two of Wands, Queen of Swords, and I'll jump into these ones. So uh, something's a headache, a nightmare situation here. And it's like... This is jealousy of other people of you. But <laughs> when my son says that, He's like, I feel like they're jealous. I say, well, wouldn't you want people jealous of you? Then you be jealous of other people. That's what I tell him. There's people that's jealous of you, which is third party, babies, mums, exes and stuff, because I'll see why. They're more negative, I know that. But that's not, you know, this planet is, a, you know, we have negative and positive within us. This planet is for us to balance out negative and positive. But there's gossip and drama regarding you, and it's just a headache. And I feel that you're like, you're so tired of this. Generally with the twin flame situation, which looks like it might be here, is your person has third party drama and there's nothing you can do. And the thing is, um, they believe that initially. And once again, there's nothing you can do. And, and everything with this journey is divine. And it, there's a reason for that. So you recognize and it forces you to realize that you can't do anything. You Only you can change how you can feel about it. You can't convince your person. You can't talk to these third parties. And that's what we are here to teach people on this planet, to focus on self. So if there is drama here and gossip and situations, I think you know about, right? Might not know directly, but you do know they're jealous of you and rah rahs. The only thing you can do is change how you feel about that. And if you don't know how to do it, then book counselling. Um, and that, like I said, is part of the journey, is part of the course. The magician card is, what's this? This is both of you. It's, it's teaching you both lessons. Something to do with your person maybe just, I just got slept around. And now those people see him or her settling with you or talking about you or connected with you. So they're jealous. And this is about you, how you emotionally align within and don't get emotionally involved with this headache of these other people. That's what I'm getting with the magician. It's taking responsibility of why you're here. Your person does it completely different, more of a 3D contract. So then they realize, yeah, instead of getting pissed off, say that they, they have kids or something like that with other people, instead of getting pissed off with the baby's mum, look, I slept around, I didn't wear condom, this is how it is because I don't do that and get on with it. That's what they have to learn. No point you telling them that you want to fuck up this connection, isn't it? Right? And why I say that is because when people come to you because you're you're a healer, you're a spiritual person, they need guidance, what are you going to do, cuss them out like that? No, it's done, it's in the past, so let's move on to the now, what we're going to do about it now, right? And now all you can do is focus on you, and that's what you have to tell other people as well. So the Magician card is about focus on your happiness. You know, stop focusing baby's mum, like for your person, this is a planet, so you don't have to say this, Focus on they, you got kids, they make you happy. And for you, you might, oh, this baby's mum, uh, 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 exes or whatever is a drama. But they're drama because that your person wants you. If he or she didn't care and they didn't pick that up, there would be no drama. So focus on, well, actually, they're jealous because my person is interested in me, right? They're not interested in the others. 
So this is about trans that that's what transmutation of negative energy actually is doing stuff like that that kind of work but obviously going deeper hence with counseling two of wands queen of swords is um yeah pointing to that exactly what i said is pointing at that this is your path you manifest this and your twin flame this journey and recognizing that because i don't know if you're absolutely recognizing it because the queen of swords it's like Oh, this is a fucking nightmare. I'm going to cuss out these people. I'm ready for them. Or I'm going to be cold and cut into them. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Say you turn into a Buddha, a master teacher. And someone knocks on your door and they're like, I'm jealous of this person. And, and you know, they're alcoholic and, and, and they've got trauma. You're going to say you're going to be cold cutting like the Queen of Swords. Uh, what you want about? Leave me alone. Get out of here. You know, no, you have to be the Queen of Cats. In that situation and that's what this is two of wands to the queen of swords is your path this is you manifested this this journey this twin flame connection to be a light worker star c so stop fucking being cold cutting and logicating it right it's not what you're supposed to do this is what you're supposed to do and like i said transmute that energy into more of a happiness right transmute it into your wish fulfillment you wish for that person with that person comes the drama nine of cups so focus on the happiness like i said that's what this reading is about four of pentacles to the magician it's like you're holding back manifesting more stuff into your reality because you're not understanding it you're like focused on the negative and trying to logicate your way out of it instead of transmuting that like i explained into a positive then you can manifest more positive but because you're holding back and there's something about how you look here this could be you dress up when uh, or sexually abused and so you dress a bit sexy or something like that there's something about how you look i think you're naturally a good looker it's not, but there's some, you could be, I don't know, there's some different for all of you. It's to do with looks. So you could be anorexic, you could be over ego with your looks, uh, affected by sexual abuse, so it affects how you look, or something like that. There's something here, which I'm getting with the four pentacles and the nine of swords. Wearing a mask as well. Um, you could be also a bit... You're financially more independent than the other people and you dress a bit more flash, I don't know, posh, I don't know, you know, more professional, more nicer. And that kind of, um, there's something here about that, about, I don't know how to say, what do they want me to, I'm asking them. Because the Ten of Pentacles is like you're focused more on that I'll give an example. Say you're a solicitor. You're working, you know, you're a solicitor, you work in those nice solicitor firm buildings, you know, and you dress professionally. And these people, single parents, work in a shoe shop, chip shop, right? This is about your focus more on that. What about your kindness? What about understanding that they might not have had support and parents to get them to be where you are? That's what's missing here. What about um, compassion and empathy because your person's interested in them and not in you? And how did you feel? How would you feel shoe on the other foot? There's no compassion here. The first card is a nine of nine of swords. It's like you're logicating nine of, and you, um, all this stabbing about. You're you're like a thing, overthinking about the situation instead of having empathy there's you're not no one's born with that that's why i'm always cussing out people who say i say stop cussing out people who are cheaters stop cussing out people who are narcissistic right because you're not born like that even murderers people that beat people is because they were beaten as a child right i'm not saying it's right but i'm saying that there's reasons for it and we're not here to place judgment no one is Right? Everyone has their own experience. To remove negativity, you love that person. 
Now, I'm not saying you've got to love the third party and the drama and the Ten of Swords and everything that's coming up here. But what I'm saying is that focusing on your work and your physicality ain't going to help it neither. With the Knight of Swords, because underneath is these two cards. The Knight of Swords, the bottom of the deck, the Three of Swords. So this is a lot of drama, a lot of arguments, a lot of heartbreak, when you should be focusing on your happiness. And it's like, like I said, you manifest in this. If you're focused on, on your happiness, and you'll manifest your happiness. Now, most people say that, and it's quite a hard thing to do, because you don't know how to do it. People just say, oh, just focus on, you know, the happy thing, and, and nothing happens. If not, this pl planet would be all... Uh, 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 rainbows and roses if it was as easy as most of the people say on YouTube it's not you have to they don't even know about the law of transmutation of energy you have to go into the situation and, and like I said go into your upbringing and this is someone who like I said is, is I would say a bit spoilt don't mean you're horrible but you've had a bit more on the plate than most I don't think your person is um, t to you like that. And this is your lesson to learn that. This is how other people react. This is how other people live. This is what happens when, you're, uh, when you don't have money. There's something here to do with money here. It's like you've got the money and they haven't. And all you're doing is, is, is kind of casting blame or telling them to get away from this, telling the person to get away from them. And it's like, no, don't tell them to come away. Uh, have compassion, keep coming back, compassion and empathy. So let's get some additional advice. From the universe. Yep, that's, that's kind of what I said. I said there's a Ten of Swords. This is a nightmare situation here. Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, right? But, I, like I said, this is your path. Two of Wands is path, right? To lead you into the correct direction. But that leads to Five of Wands, other people's drama. There's something here about you haven't dealt with this kind of drama, other people backstabbing, nightmare situation it's like you're you're in this bubble of how you was brought up but you're it, and that i do i've had readings with that with loads of other uh, light workers it's like it's here to teach you about the majority of planet earth the majority i'm not saying you're right up there super rich with the one percent you could be but you don't know how the 98 percent was live and there's something here, like I said, you're, 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 you, this is part of your path. You're just waiting for things to change. It won't change until you change. You are the change. It's very important you learn this lesson. <clears throat> like I said, if you need help, help, did I say that? I'm always saying it in my readings. Counseling, we can help you with that. I say we, it's my programs. And, um, uh, but someone else in the community can help you I don't do it but they use my programs in the counselling like I, I said there's no cups apart from this transfer this is the heart right this is you you're focused and determined to come away from this other situation but you're trapped in this rooted belief system you see the roots right you're in a rooted belief system of doing it one way without having the heart and compassion and empathy for uh, for others. It doesn't mean they go away because you send them love. No, it means that you transmute instead of hating and blaming because hate only stays on you. And then when you understand that, then you can then, you can only change you, how you feel about the situation. Because at the moment, you're just thinking. You need to change how you feel about this situation. Because you can't change them. You can't. Heart, son, love, forgiveness, compassion, healing, what's good for you. Like I said, that's what the reading's about. Let's close it out because it's your person here. A little bit with a magician card, but let's close it out with what he or she would say to you.
It's no point just booking another tower reading or going on to another bunny hopping on to another tower readings. You need help with this. I know that we are deeply connected. <clears throat> I told you there's something to do with money here. I focus on money as I have nothing to offer you. Like I said, you're not having empathy. You might be saying to your person, oh, here's some money, or you all pay, or I can help you to be successful. That's not what it's about. You have to let them do what they got to do. Definitely you need to learn to do this twin flame path correctly. That's this reading. Because look, your person feels like they're struggling up in air because of how you are. Um, I know that we are deeply connected. I am trying to overcome my commitment issues. And commitment issues is because twin flames are always different. Completely different characters, definitely age gaps, definitely uh, different colours, all that kind of thing. So we unite as one. So we can say it doesn't matter what background you are, what religion you are, what colour you are. That's just a bodysuit. That's just a label, right? Love is love. And like I said, you're not, this is about opening up to the love and learning the twin flame contract while you're here correctly. Because path came up twice. You don't know your twin flame path. Please book uh, counselling or tower reading, image reading, most likely, and you can afford it, right? This reading, you can afford it, so there's no excuse. And everything I sell is a money back guarantee. Once again, a double bubble, there's no excuse. So please check out the description box. And I'll speak to you later.